wish William good luck for me. I will. Good time, Malcolm. I've arranged a meeting with Vandal Savage. You meet in the speech, sir. <laughs> Wait, what? Because negotiation is the only way out of this situation, Oliver. Savage is going to decimate Central City to get what he wants. If your child were here, you would understand. Suit up. I've already spoke with Fleet Fleet. He's on his way. <laughs> creepy ring asked so nicely. Please tell me we're not going to negotiate with terrorists or, you know, 4,000 year old bad guys. Just think of this more as a fact-finding mission. Maybe Savage slips up and gives us something that we can use to our advantage. <laughs> you said you were being a little more humorous lately. I'm sorry, how do you know so much about Savage anyway? I don't know anything about him, Mr. Allen. No one does. That is why I'm afraid of him. That's not the only reason to be afraid of me. I assure you. for joining me. What do you want? What all living things want. Not to die. I thought that wasn't a problem for you. Only if I take the life force from Prince Khufu and Priestess Chiara. Kendra and Carter. The three of us are locked in a vicious circle played out over thousands of years. None of your concern. You've made it our concern. <laughs> of Loxley. I taught him how to use a bow. He taught me how to not feel pain. I'm the enemy you can't defeat. The only way for you and yours to live through this is to render unto me what is mine. Turn over Prince Kufu and Priestess Chaira within 24 hours or I will lay waste to this city killing everyone that you hold dear. And after that I will travel to your home and do the same thing there. All right, I'm just curious. Did you rehearse that speech in a mirror this morning, or is this all just off the cuff? <laughs> Why would you risk the lives of your friends and family for two strangers? 206 times I have killed him. What hubris possesses you that makes you think that you can prevent me from doing so again? Not hubris. Hope. I came to this meeting out of curiosity. It is now sated. Bring Khufu and Chiara to Jurgen's industrial in 24 hours, or I will see you dead and buried under the bodies of your loved ones. We're not giving up Kendra and Carter. That's not your decision to make. This is a cycle that has played out for the last 4,000 years. Savage may be immortal, but he isn't a god. No, but he's the next best thing. Oliver. What? You better be certain that your stubbornness does not get my daughter killed. Because if that happens, I will come for you. And in a way that will make you beg for the likes of Vandal Savage. 24 hours. Until what? Until we are supposed to hand you and Carter over to Savage, or... Savage lays waste to Central City. Yeah. We've been through this before. 1887, the Huang He flood, Savage killed nearly 2 million people to get to us, and he did. We weren't helping you then. We are now. We have 24 hours to come up with a workable plan. No, this is insane. My life isn't worth millions of people's lives. Kendra, I'll talk to her. Yeah. Hey, I got this. I said I'll talk to her. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't we just toss him over to Vandal Savage? Where are you? Hey, you missed the whole save the city or turn my girlfriend over to an immortal psychopath briefing. Oh, sorry, um, dude, I, last night I, um, I ghosted. I think I'm gonna... Don't say it. I think I'm gonna time jump. I just told you not to say it! Sorry, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Mary, the first rule of time travel is you don't talk about time travel because by having this conversation, we're screwing history. Look, I know that time travel has consequences. I mean, the last time you vibed... Well, I'm not vibing anything right now. Okay, um, all right, look, don't panic. A, you don't know that you time jumped for a bad reason. It could have been a good one, right? B, now that you know you time jumped, you might not do it, right? So, knowing the future might change the present, which might change the future. 